The general design category recognizes site-specific works of landscape architecture that exhibit distinction in design, function, context, and environmental responsibility. Receiving honor awards in general design are Curran House by Andrea Cochran Landscape Architecture. Great landscape design need not be expensive, as proven by this affordable housing site in San Francisco. A serene decompression garden buffers the entrance. Temple bamboo and cypress seating surround a gently bubbling fountain. Rich plantings include tree ferns, baby tears, and flax. A roof garden has individual garden plots for tenants. The jurors praise the sublime details, noting this doesn't look modest at all, but is very economical and beautifully done. The Red Ribbon, Tanghe River Park by Turinscape and Peking University Graduate School of Landscape Architecture. This vibrant and popular park replaced a deserted garbage dump and slum on the urban fringe of Qinhuangdao City, China. Four pavilions shaped like clouds float along the ribbon, surrounded by a patchwork of perennial flower gardens. The ribbon glows red at night and looks different in every season. It's transformative and curative, Durer said, a celebration integrating artistic elements into a natural landscape in an ingenious way. One North Wacker Drive by PWP Landscape Architecture. This Chicago project runs along the glass lobby of a 52-story office tower. Specially formed armatures sustain ground cover and trees. Carved stone benches provide comfortable seating and extend the lobby out to the street where flower beds and fruit trees create a welcome outdoor lunch venue. Drewers called the project a strong gesture that unifies the site plan. It's just beautiful in its composition. The Restoration of Giant Forest by the National Park Service. This unprecedented 20-year restoration effort for Sequoia National Park required comprehensive planning and analysis, environmentally responsible solutions, and public support. More than 280 buildings and 1 million square feet of asphalt were removed. Special construction techniques were developed to protect vegetation and tree roots. The jury said the effect showed true leadership sustained vision and solid commitment. Mesa Art Center by Martha Schwartz Partners. The landscape architect drew upon strong regional identity in dealing with issues of downtown regeneration and sustainability. The Shadow Walk incorporates the intense sunlight and shadows of the region, while the arroyo is lined in gold travertine tile and slices of lava rock. The jury pronounced it just terrific and said, it sustains so much color and culture in one place and has transformed the area. Washington Mutual Center Roof Garden by Phillips Fairvog Smallenberg. Rather than just meet Seattle's open space requirements, this green roof was enlarged to showcase views across Elliott Bay. Rocks evoke the wind-swept headlands of the Pacific shoreline, and unusual elements tell the story of the bank's local origins. Almost two-thirds of the deck is planted with drought-tolerant and native plants. Jurors found the balance of textures really remarkable and loved the reflective surface and elegant plant materials. University of Minnesota Duluth Swenson Science Building by Osland and Associates. Clad in steel and surrounded by native plants, the courtyard features an experimental wetland garden that emphasizes the cultivation of wild rice chosen for its symbolism to the local Native American population. The landscape architect also created underwater detailing, 
a circulatory system for water flow, and pedestrian access. The jury called it a big success and said it's very unexpected, yet entirely appropriate. Olympic Sculpture Park by Weissman Freddy in collaboration with Charles Anderson Landscape Architecture. This project is located on Seattle's last undeveloped waterfront property, an industrial brownfield site sliced by train tracks and an arterial road. The design descends 40 feet with an uninterrupted platform, reconnecting the city's urban core to the revitalized waterfront. The consulting landscape architect created distinct micro-settings with plantings characteristic of the Northwest. Jurors pronounced it a brilliant move and not easily accomplished. Glacier Club by Design Workshop. Capitalizing on its experience with green practices, the design team worked to create a cost-effective and environmentally friendly golf course that respects the land, uses innovative stormwater management, and engages the golfer. The jury said golf courses are a significant part of the practice, and this could have broad environmental impact for the entire industry. We applaud the landscape architect's light hand. Harvard Graduate Student Housing at 29 Garden Street by Richard Berg Associates, Jonathan Levy Architects with Bergmeier Associates. Landscape architecture transformed a former police station into the most sought after residence hall on Harvard University's campus. At street level, shade trees were planted and sidewalks renovated. At the second floor level, a 10,600 square foot green roof courtyard was created on top of the existing parking garage. The jury said this project was a great way to expose students to contemporary issues and solutions. Northeast Siskiyou Green Street by Kevin Robert Perry. This Portland, Oregon project replaced the parking zone of a typical residential street with landscaped curb extensions designed to capture stormwater runoff. The seven by 50 foot extensions retain water to a depth of seven inches by a series of check dams. The jury extolled the project as a prototype for designers, policymakers, and neighborhoods. It works on every level and even looks great with the existing landscape. Mount Tabor Middle School Rain Garden by Kevin Robert Perry. An asphalt parking area was converted into an innovative rain garden, melding the concepts of art, education, and ecological function. Built in 2006, this Portland, Oregon project also helped solve the neighborhood's stormwater runoff problems. Jurors called it the best green project we have seen and said it's the right thing to do, to bring kids into daily contact with something that really functions. We can easily imagine other schools replicating this. And receiving the Award of Excellence in General Design is M. Victor and Francis Leventritt Garden at the Arnold Arboretum of Harvard University by Reed Hildebrand. This garden was a joint effort by landscape architects and research scientists to develop a captivating shrub and vine collection of more than 150 species and cultivars. A connective pathway integrates the garden and arboretum within the 200-acre property. The barrier-free network of ramps and steps provides universal accessibility to the rich experience of lush terraces. A hillside features traditional horticultural displays and allows for educational programs. The jurors called this entry a project of love. It's exquisite contemporary yet traditional and unique in how it's presented.